Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're now loading into game three here on MLG Shakuras Plateau. A great, great map for the final game to decide who will be moving on. Will it be Oz or will it be Pulse? That's a great question. And game number three is going to decide that, JP. It is indeed. Rob, why don't you introduce our player over here? Oh, well, I'd love to. Over here on the right side of the map on Shakuras Plateau as the Red Protoss representing Team FX Open. Oz, his opponent, he won game one very convincingly and unfortunately could just not make it happen in game number two, representing Team SCV Life, we've got Pulp. So in that last game, it was really a matter of tech for Oz that just put him uh, in such a great position and taking out that third base of Pulp uh, very early on, as well as getting his third base very early on, uh, really just secured the economic lead for him almost all game long. He had so many great size storms there in the mid game. And at the late game, I mean, he had so many Archons uh, plus a handful of classes, even though that tech was eventually sniped uh, by those drops from Pulp, he was able just to run over that army and uh, seal the deal there in game two. Yeah, Oz just did, I mean, really nice. Really nice. He got, he, he was playing the game for himself once again, although that time the engagements were much more favorable for him. He got in there, he kept Pult off of his third repeatedly. We saw Oz take a pretty big risk in the beginning too, right? He went for that fast third Nexus. And it worked out. Yeah. And uh, Pult will be going for that uh, Rax first in this game instead of the CC first, of course, Shakuras Plateau. Uh, a little bit of a uh, smaller distance here between the uh, two bases when in comparison to Daybreak. So Pult doesn't really... can doesn't want to take that risk, doesn't want to take that chance of, of his opponent possibly kind of stealing on that last game and, and doing something a little bit earlier with that gateway. And in comes Oz, scouting out some of that information. We don't see Polt throwing down the supply depot soon enough to stop that scout, so he's not too worried about it. He has just started his orbital command, and now he's sending out a scout of his own. Oz gets in there, gets a little information, sees the orbital command started, also sees that there is no gas to be found quite yet. So because of that, he's going to know that his opponent will be going for that uh, one Rax X-Band. And to be really be on par with that, he could go for a uh, Hin 4 Gape, or he could just uh, go for that uh, expansion, which I think is what Oz is going to do. Now, Oz has a, a good chunk of gas. We've seen him start with the Stalker, although this time he's opted for building his Zealot. He's perhaps anticipating that Command Center being placed outside of the base, and maybe he'll be able to stop it, although Polt we've seen likes to build three Marines. Yeah. And three Marines means that that Zealot's not going to be able to do much. Yep. And uh, there's the Cybernetics Core finishing as well as the gateway. So here comes the Stalker, and we should start seeing him as we do right here, saving up. Now, he could add on two more gates, or he could just uh, save up another Hem Minerals and throw down that Nexus. And uh, we'll see here as the probe should be pulled in just a matter of seconds. He might be waiting uh, to take out this SCV, though, as the Zealot fell back and he needs one more shot there, the Stalker's going to give chase here. Here comes the probe. He will be dropping that expansion. Yes, he will. Very shortly. He's actually got he's got quite a bit of gas ready to go. Now, Polt here, once again, adding on some more barracks after his command center is close to finishing. Polt really loves infantry play. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. Now, with that sentry coming out, it really makes me think that uh, Oz might go for some quick tech here. Is that's a, a very defensive, uh, defensive unit? That, oh, will he? Wow, again. He might go for another is he quick go third for the here. Third again? Is it going to happen? Will uh, he take the same risk, JP? I think he's going to, ma'am. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely got just about enough minerals. You can almost assuredly assume that. And there it goes once again. Oz is placing down the third. Polt needs to find this. Polt needs to find this and destroy it. Yeah. I mean, th that was basically the sole reason why uh, Polt was just completely out, mm. kind of out economized in that last game. Uh, with that third base, though, it is a little bit beneficial to Protoss uh, in this matchup because it does have that wide open space for the Protoss to get in and that small choke for them to also force filled with at the third base. It happens so often uh, in both PVZ and PVT on Daybreak. And so Polt has continued to defend his natural. He's got that bunker down there as well as two supply depots to reduce the amount of places that 
Oz will have to get through. We see two more gateways being added on from Oz. Now, Oz made it at least a couple crucial mistakes in the last game, namely with how his pylons were placed. You're right. Because he, he was very close to not having any production for a chunk of time after Pult successfully dropped him. And uh, really waiting to see what Pult's going to be doing. I guess he's just going to go for your very, very standard uh, three racks, get that factor down, start getting some medevacs out, and then start to push right around the time that the uh, first two medevacs are out and the third or fourth are building so they can't meet up for a big attack here. Oz is going to be ready for it, and, and Pult actually has no idea, if we go into his view yet, uh, that this third has been taken. He, of course, has got to know that at least a, a natural has been taken here. It's, it's basically, if he didn't, the attack would have already come way, way long ago. But he's still prepared. I mean, he's got enough sentries to stop any sort of attack anyway, at least for a couple of rounds. I think he has enough, enough energy saved up that that shouldn't be a terribly big issue for him. So really, Oz is just prepared. The issue is that his third has absolutely no defense whatsoever. So if Pult finds it, that third is just going to be crushed. Pult here in the center of the map, taking these Zell Naga Towers, uh, very, very useful uh, uh, thing to do here, because of course you just see so much more, and you can also see sometimes drops there if your opponent kind of misrallies them. We have this uh, probe over there, might be uh, taking a fourth base or just hiding some tech. Marine about to see the third base of Oz. And because oh. of that, uh, we see Oz actually sending his force there, his forces there. Observer will find this small little pack of units in the center of the map from Polt. Stim finishes. And Oz was thinking about uh, maybe going in there and trying to attack, but it looks like he's going to back off for now. Oh, yeah. He does not want to engage. He doesn't want to waste any of his energy while he doesn't have a, a for sure engagement and a for sure win because he doesn't want Pult to be able to escape while he wastes all of his such valuable energy. Now Oz has added on, I think it was just five additional gateways, two of them have just finished, three more still to go. He's also researching Blink, so Oz could be going for some aggression in the not so distant future. Oz does see this army, so really the, the move is kind of, it's up to him at this point as Pult is basically spreading up his army here, basically claiming the center of this map. Uh, slowly moving forward now, though, he's got to be careful as Oz just really does not have that big of an army. He's got to really rely on force fields uh, to do his best to trap his opponent here, but he's only got six. Uh, three of them, though, do have 200 energy. Yeah, that's a lot of much needed centuries. He's going to need every last one. Now, Pult's moving in with an army that just is not too big. We see that there are just so many units there. Oh, Pult making for a little bit of a side drop, taking out one of those pylons that was up on the cliff. And now, Pult is in great position to just lift off if he so chooses. Pult's got enough things to split Oz's army in two, though. And this is basically a very delicate chess game right now. I mean, Pult sits up here. Uh, because of that, we're going to see a few remaining forces from Oz, but that uh, will most definitely destroy this. But that sentry, if it can get uh, the force field down in time on that ramp, he will be able to take that uh, fight very easily. And here's another drop, actually, as we see over here. Oh, uh, what? Interesting choice by Oz, pushing yeah. up the ramp, losing a few units as he starts to engage. And now we have Pult once again dropping on the left side of Oz's main, taking out Zealots left and right. He's still hasn't done too much damage. Yes, reducing as much surface area as he can. Now pulling back up above that third after doing some more damage. And back here down in the main, he is going to be able to finish off all of those Zealots, but we are going to see some reinforcements from Oz to clean that up. We can see him warping in more to defend. Oh, wow, killing the pylon, and that forced the cancel on a couple of those additional defensive warp-ins. And man, Polt is just taking some free pot shots. Yeah. Yeah, and he's actually moving forward once again over at this force. Charge is finished, but a lot of the Zealots actually have just been taken out. Uh, two force fields being thrown down. Definitely an act of desperation, but now it's going to be working against him here because Pult is going to be moving into the natural. Pult is just everywhere with these drops, and he's even still dealing damage over here in the main base, taking out these pylons. He is far away from being supply caps, but he could possibly empower all of these gateways. But no, here comes the small army. Uh, or the small split army from Oz. And here in the center, he's got a huge bio ball set up as well. 
And Pult's got a significant supply lead. And we only see Storm just beginning. So I believe that Oz is pretty much going to be forced. Or, well, yeah, pretty much forced oh, to either use not those for good. feedbacks and then just... Oh, man, his entire army is stuck in the little nook down there. But I don't think that Pult saw it. Well, he's going for this very high-tech Archon there. And that is a smart decision. But he could have definitely taken out so many of these units here. The force fields would have been troublesome as we see them being plopped down right there. But he can easily just go around as we see it. And he's going back into a corner, which he actually can't get out of. That is not good at all. Oh, no, he even forgets to Ouch. split that. 88 supply to 160. Pulse could have just sealed the deal here. He's going to most likely be moving on. Good game. He has done it. Taking out Oz there. Showing everyone that game two, not a big deal. I'll just win in game three. Pult really just made it happen. It was so unfortunate for Oz that he wasn't, a, like, he got caught in such a strange spot. That's like the death nook, man. Right, right, yeah. You can't have your stuff there. I mean, that was basically a reaction or, or really uh, the reason that his forces were split is because the drops of Pult mm -hmm. were just all over the place, and Oz had to make a decision on where he wanted his army to be. And a lot of the time it was up there at that third base. But because of that, we saw Pult focus mainly on the natural and that main base. And eventually just split the army, saw that he had done that, and then just started to drop everywhere there in the main. And eventually got that army back in the nook. And it was not good there for Oz. So congratulations to Pult. Yeah, so Pult is going to continue on. Oz had a pretty good run, but man, Pult just played so well. So ladies and gentlemen, you at home, be sure to stay tuned for more Championship Sunday here at the MLG Winter Championships. I'm Rob Simpson. I'm JP McDaniel. Coming up, we got more action here at MLG.